Tang Dynasty was built in 618 by Li Yuan. In early age, the emperor focused on reunion the country. In 626, a bloody event, Xuan Wu Men Zhi Bian, happened. Li Yuan's second son, Li Shimin, and his followers killed the crown prince Li Jiancheng, Prince Li Yuanji, and all their male family members. According to the historical records, two months after Xuan Wu Men Zhi Bian, Li Yuan voluntarily retired and passed the crown to Li Shimin. Li Shimin became the second emperor of Tang Dynasty, known as Tang Taizong. Tang Taizong ruled the Tang Dynasty for 23 years. These 23 years were called the Zhen Guan Zhi Zhi, which was considered a golden age in ancient Chinese history. Tang Taizong passed away in 649. He was buried in Zhao Ling with his beloved wife, the Empress Zhang Xun. Tang Dynasty's third emperor was Li Zhi. He was the third son of the Emperor Taizong and Empress Zhang Xun. Li Zhi was known as Tang Gaozong. His second empress Wu Zetian was really famous in Chinese history. She was the only female emperor in ancient China. In 683, Tang Gaozong passed away. Gaozong and Wu Zetian's third son Li Xian became the emperor. Wu Zetian became the emperor's daughter. One month later, Li Xian was replaced by his brother Li Dan. Li Dan worked as a puppet emperor for six years. In 690, he voluntarily passed the crown to his mother. Wu Zetian officially became the only female emperor in Chinese history. In 605, Wu Zetian passed away. Before she died, she gave up the title of emperor, so she could be buried with Li Zhi as his wife, the empress. In 705, Li Xian became the emperor again. This time, he ruled the Tang dynasty for five years. In 710, Li Xian was poisoned by his beloved daughter, Princess An Le. Because Princess An Le and her mother, the Empress Wei, wanted to be the female emperor like Wu Zetian. In 710, Li Dan second time became the emperor. Two years later, he voluntarily passed the crown to his son Li Longji. The Tang Dynasty would greet the most prosperous period, Kai Yuan Zhi Zhi. In 712, Li Longji became the ninth emperor of the Tang Dynasty. The first important event of his age was killing Princess Tai Ping and her followers. After this, Li Longji could put all his efforts on governing the country. During the first 30 years, Tang Dynasty developed really well. It was the most prosperous period, called Kai Yuan Zhi Zhi. In 740, the Empress Xuan Zhong fell in love with Yang Guifei. He started to ignore his responsibilities as an emperor. He did whatever he could to do to please Yang Guifei. This brought the disaster to the Tang Dynasty. In 755, An Shi Zhi Luan happened. 
It spent eight years to finish the Anshi Zhiluan, and the Golden Age of Tang Dynasty completely finished. After Anshi Zhiluan, Tang Dynasty gradually became the regional military governors' independently ruling system. After Tang Xuanzong, there were fourteen emperors. Emperors. In nine zero seven, the Tang Dynasty completely finished. Tang Dynasty was a lady-friendly period. Before Anshi Zhiluan, ladies deeply involved or influenced the political affairs. In my personal opinion, Tang Dynasty was the only dynasty that China influenced the world through culture, like poem artworks. Tang Dynasty opened his door to welcome the people from other places. Thank you for watching this video. Next week, let's see the hairstyle in Tang Dynasty.